Hello and welcome. So in this video, we are going to see top five IT certifications for 2022. And uh, this uh, you, you probably can see at the bottom here. These are the ones that I think should get you a de decent paying job and not just a job, but it should help you get some college credits as well. So a lot of people, they will start with A plus and they would say go for a plus um, i would suggest otherwise basically i would say to go with google it support uh, it's a debatable which one you want to go google's uh, does not say their course is superior it's my personal uh, uh, like uh, opinion that google one is far more better in terms of real world on the job skills training than the a plus a plus is just uh it's like introduction to jargon introduction to uh, like if you have never seen cables it will just show you the pictures that's it uh, but uh, for the it's popular with uh, within the industry hr has heard of maybe nothing better so it's a big check box that you can mark check and get a higher paying job if you have a plus um, i'm going to give you an example uh, between a plus and not a plus the difference could be ten dollar an hour make your choice i'm not against uh, a plus i'm not saying that it's not valuable but between the two i will do the i will prefer google it sport professional certificate uh, but do get both uh, a plus marks the uh, check box made by hr it support is professional certificate by google is the one that will actually uh, make you uh, pass through the technical interview that follows uh, once hr finalizes their list they send it to manager then manager it manager basically schedule the interviews and within that interviews they select the top candidates offer the job for the top one if he declines or she declines it goes to the next and so on or if somebody leaves then uh, especially with amazon i work for amazon uh, they if you've been through their interview process meaning that you were you, you passed through hr and you were interviewed by the it manager and an engineer as well then you are on their short list for six months meaning if six months if you're you were not given offered the job the first time but in the meantime somebody leaves you will be offered uh, after six months they will conduct new interviews so again do both uh, if the coolest thing is that I want to show you it has extremely helpful bits of bytes of computer networking it's basically uh, gold uh, power user the command prompt gold system administrator i don't remember it much but uh, these were the two that uh, really caught my attention this one security against the uh, defense against the digital dark arts basically security so in this single course google has combined a plus network plus and security plus now this should be either one id support or the A plus should be your first one to start at. The second one, Network Plus, everybody wants to go for a, a CompTIA trifecta. Um, I would say yes, go for it if you're not going for CCNA. CCNA is too specific for uh, Cisco, uh, but it's more uh, respected or more valued if you have CCNA, somebody has Network Plus, they tend to go for uh, CCNA guy. Uh, again, if you want to go go for it, I did not. I actually after I got my A plus, I did my IT support. Uh, basically, when I was giving the test, I was doing doing them simultaneously. That's a, a habit of me that I pick uh, two similar kind of uh, um, certificates and go with them. So that's what I did with a plus and security uh, id support now next one i did was network plus again uh i could have 
gun for CCNA but the reason I did not was that I was going for security plus as well and with Scantia uh, their courses overlap uh, maybe 30 person uh, from a plus comes up in network plus uh, maybe 30 percent from network plus and a plus goes into security plus so it's it's just a lot of knowledge a lot of uh, scenario based questions and I wanted to stick with it because I knew that these uh, give you college credit as well how much credits if you want to say just these four certificates a plus network plus security plus and google it support got me 26 college credits uh, with wgu i'm still waiting to uh, uh, my credits to be uh, sorry my courses to be evaluated by another university and i i will know which one is offering more but it should be around the same ballpark so network plus again do get it it's uh it gives you not as in-depth as ccna because that is cisco specific but it does give you a general overview of network especially um, not the the osa model and uh, that's pretty much basically it is but if you look at this one uh, it has the basics bits and bytes of computer networking and if oh, i opened a new one slabus it's pretty cool uh, if you can go to slave bus networking network layer it's extremely in, in depth i really enjoyed it and the beauty of uh, google courses is that they uh, there is uh, quick with quick labs they have virtual machines that you launch in your browser and you actually go perform some of the tests and quizzes uh, it broadens your experience and you can talk something about not in an interview you can put something in resume as well third one is security plus that's my favorite i have uh, i am really enjoy enjoying the security field i i this is i think this is going to be something that i will seriously pursue uh i before i was going to cloud but uh, after going through this and seeing the how it, like uh, how natural i was uh, i am inclined to with uh, some a plus definitely can with some experience can give you a job somewhere between i would say 40 to 50 thousand dollars easy it's not uh, the and the network plus if you have a degree bachelor's degree and you just get network plus uh, like doesn't matter if the bachelor's degree is even in computer science or not with that you can easily get 60,000 uh, on security plus uh, I'm not saying it's not assumption I'm actually giving examples of real people's that work with me with me or have worked with me or they were my colleague in another company and they have gone to another company so <clears throat> security plus this is debatable between me and my peers i am saying that it should get you somewhere close to 100 they are saying no somewhere close to 60 we will see i haven't applied to any jobs i cannot uh, save or know anybody who has done it and then went to a job that got them uh, the ballpark uh, everybody agrees on is around 70 75 i think it's too low but again it's debatable with the cloud now the fifth and final one that uh, you should consider especially if you're young buck and you are just trying getting in a, uh, like getting into IT or you want to get into IT do get uh, some cloud experience now if you are too young meaning 15 17 something like that I don't know uh, cloud plus probably is fine because it's again it's a lot of uh, it's a just introduction to jargon concepts I, I like to call it introduction to jargon but it's basically fundamentals concepts I if you're a professional like you are uh, you are not 15 17 you are like way up in your career I would go with either one of these either AWS certified cloud practitioner or Microsoft Azure fundamentals I did the cloud practitioner currently I'm st 
I have studied for I'm just waiting to take the test for solutions architect I haven't done so because we, we were um, extremely busy Christmas um, the reason I did AWS uh, I went with the AWS route where while I really wanted to go with Azure is only because I work for Amazon so I was like hey why not give it a try see if new door opens within the company I I am down for Azure as well in uh, in the, in 2022 I am not sure when but uh, I will if you are established like you have some experience I would say go with Azure not AWS the reason is uh, Microsoft Windows is everywhere everybody's infrastructure already on premises is on Microsoft servers and all that and it's their natural choice unless they hire people that super uh, you know experienced with AWS not within the company that support the uh, trans uh, like transfer to AWS otherwise there's no it's 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 only a natural choice so these are the five certificates these are easily doable in an year I'm not kidding I have done them uh, it took me maybe three months for a plus and a plus is two exams uh, it took me a month for Google ID sports certificate uh, but that was because I was working from home I uh, I, I didn't go party and all that I just stick home and study uh, I was studying every single day and I was I had a full-time job so I would study after a job maybe an hour or 90 minutes and you know I did neglect my family no doubt about that uh, but I, I was just like on a like this was my number one priority to get this done get a better paying job and provide better for my family so I wanted to do that the network plus it did take me long because we were moving I had a new job we are moving from to a new uh, how home in the same city um, so with that uh, we had to buy a lot of furniture and everything so it it, it wasn't just the kind of atmosphere where I could sit down and study I did take that maybe six months uh, for the security plus I easily took it maybe three months and I was done the AWS I did that in a month I and I did uh, and that actually on the job we have breaks so my break was all combined is one hour like 30 minutes here 15 15 something like that so I would basically just sit down in my breaks and study uh, it was all online so that's how it, that's easy that's how easy it was so again this 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 was all in the same uh, year uh, I was studying for a plus and I was doing the ID sport at the same time I was doing the I believe network plus and I was studying for cloud practitioner as well because I would do network plus at home and I would do AWS at work so that's how uh, I've done that it's very easily doable and if you do that uh, you are easily looking for over 50 60 K easily all right so this should be your number one priority if you start in January 2022 you should be done by December all of them and you should have a good job if you get your a plus and id sport so i hope this is helpful if it has please comment and let me know what you uh, think otherwise happy new year and you have a great day and great uh, year ahead